In this video, we are going to look at installing AutoCAD LT 2014 Mac for the very first time. If you've cheated and you've already peaked and started the software and run it, that's okay, not a problem. And if you've used AutoCAD once or twice, then you might not need to go through this video. But if you want to get a refresher or to make sure you're doing it correctly, that's fine. So you want to create some brand new fantastic design with AutoCAD LT. Well, that's great. The very first step is an obvious one. You need to turn it on. So if you haven't installed the software already, go ahead and do that. And you can look at an earlier video that we have that will help you do this. It's pretty straightforward and you probably won't need any help whatsoever, but that's okay. So once it's installed, then you can start it up. Now, AutoCAD LT is ready to go. And one thing you're going to find out that's commonplace in AutoCAD is that there will always be more than one way to do anything. Well, it's a blessing and a curse, but you'll get used to it. And a lot of times in this video, I will refer to AutoCAD LT as just regular AutoCAD because it's essentially the exact same thing. It just has some features turned off. So if I say AutoCAD, I still mean AutoCAD LT. So to start AutoCAD LT, just go to your launch pad and it should have created an Autodesk folder here and then find the AutoCAD LT 2014 icon, click it, and it will open it up for you. Now, the very first time you open this up, it will take some time to process it. So it won't always take this long. Now, this is just the splash screen. Your next screen that will come up is the privacy statement. This just lets you know what kind of information Autodesk is gathering, is looking at when AutoCAD LT is running. Read the privacy statement, and if you agree with it, click on the check mark, and then pick the I agree button in the bottom of the window. If you don't check this box or hit cancel, then AutoCAD LT won't run. If you've purchased your software, then you won't see this come up. Instead, this is for the 30-day trial that comes up, and you can always activate your trial software at any time once you purchase a license for it. When you do that, click on this activate button, you'll enter in your code, and you'll be good to go. Otherwise, as your trial period progresses, every time you start AutoCAD, it will show you this, and it will tell you how many days left you have to use your software. When you're ready, click try. And this is the welcome screen for AutoCAD LT for Mac. Now, a lot of times throughout this video, I'm going to use a term out of the box. When I say something is out of the box, I'm referring to the default settings of AutoCAD. So out of the box, this is what it's going to look like when it pops up. You're going to get this interface. And from here, you can get started. Now, if you don't like this interface, you can always click this to turn it off, and you can always turn it back on at any time. Now, from here, if you click on this Create button, this is where you're generally going to start from. You can start from one of these template files. A default one that we will use all the time will be this file right here, the acadlt.dwt. There will also be ones called acad.dwt that we will use as well. You can click on any of these and continue working. Now, if you click on the Continue Working button here, this will give you a list of files you've opened up or worked with recently. This is the New button. This is the open files or project. It will open up your finder and you can go to your drawings and look for them there to open them up. And the explore sample drawing files will open up your default browser and send you to a web page at Autodesk's website where they have several sample files. Now, if you want to learn some more about AutoCAD LT, you can click on a lot of these different videos here that come with the software. And this extended session here gets you to a lot of different forums, AutoCAD's websites, YouTube videos, etc. So we'll click on this AutoCAD LT.dwt file, click open, and this will officially start AutoCAD LT for you for your very first time. Now, out of the box, this is what it's going to look like. This window here is called the drawing area. These are your toolbars. Click here you can get to different sets of tools. This is your drawing area. By left-clicking on that top gray bar, you can move it all around. Move your mouse to the edge. You can stretch it, make it taller, thinner, wider. If you come up to this top bar here, you will see the menu bar. This is where you get to most of your commands. This is the AutoCAD LT button. It will give you information about the software, check for any updates, go to your preference settings. You can hide it. You can hide others, or you can even quit the program altogether. These will be your different commands that you'll get to just by clicking on one of them and then scrolling down. 
the arrows mean that there is another set of tools available to you. Just mouse over and it will populate on your screen. There are also other things called palettes. Now I can click on these through the window and turn them on or turn them off. All of these palettes can be moved around. You can change them. You can stretch them. It just depends on your needs. Now they could be anywhere on your screen the first time you open up AutoCAD. Some of them can be docked. You'll see they'll kind of snap into place. And some of them you can stretch at any time. The command line can be finicky, and sometimes it's hard to get a hold of. Sometimes it just doesn't want to stretch. But you can position these in any way that you want. This is a general setup that I like to use, and I'm going to use it for most of the time. And we'll talk about each one of these different palettes later on, like the layer palette or the properties inspector. Keep in mind, this is your main interface area, the drawing area. When you start a command, you can just type in the command on your keyboard, like the word line, and press enter. And I can start drawing my line. Or I can come over to my tools, find my line command, click on it, and start drawing my lines. I can also come up to the menu bar, go to draw, and find line and draw a line that way. Every time you move your mouse, that's going to move your crosshair that's on your screen. I move left, I move right, up or down. And it looks like a crosshair while I'm in the drawing area. When I'm on a palette or my menu bar or one of the toolbars, it looks like an arrow. This is the command line. If I click in the box there and start typing, I can put my commands in that way. You also may have noticed out of the box, dynamic input is on. Dynamic input is sort of like a smaller condensed command line that works right at your crosshair. I can come down to the status bar here and I can turn that off. Now when I start to type in my command, it only goes in on the command line and not at my crosshairs. We'll be turning that off and on throughout our training videos. We'll be using both of them and we'll go into more detail about them as well. That's a quick overview of starting AutoCAD for the very first time. I wanted you to get a look at it, and now we're going to start to get into it in more detail.